We have agreed on the Sustainable Development Goals. We have agreed in December 2015 on reducing greenhouse gas emissions to combat climate change, but nothing shall be achieved without controlling finance better. Finance allows multinational corporations to basically play different states against one another to practice environmental, social, fiscal dumping by declaring their profits uh, in the jurisdictions they choose, by polluting where they uh, choose, by setting up um, uh, factories and dividing up the supply chains as they see fit. And until we tackle this issue of finance, uh, how it is directed, which investments are made um, and where the profits are declared, we shall fail to um, avoid states um, privileging the short-term interests they have in attracting capital over the long-term interests of um, working towards sustainable development. So finance is absolutely key because it is what basically constrains states, forcing them to focus only on short-term objectives and forcing them to compete with one another at the expense of social protection, at the, at the expense of protecting the environment, at the expense of um, uh, allowing themselves to capture enough public revenue by, by taxing um, uh, large corporations. The question of international finance is one that uh, no state can address alone. So it is a very important test case for the international community. Shall the states be able to overcome their differences and work together towards one single framework that shall allow them to better better control finance. It is very encouraging to see that uh, within the OECD there is such a willingness to move forward, for example with the, um, the, the BEPS program, the Base Erosion Profit Shifting program, that should allow states to align uh, themselves with one another in order to uh, avoid fiscal evasion and, and, and fiscal optimization. But at the multilateral level, it seems more difficult to achieve agreement. And it is a disappointment, I think, that at the latest um, International Conference for Financing for Development that was held in Addis Ababa in July 2015, there was no agreement on a global expert body um, to ensure that uh, the taxation practices and the mm, tools developed to combat uh, fiscal evasion would be um, uh, controlled at a global level. So we remain... Um, um, in, a, in a setting in which the rich countries uh, are taking measures, but in which the poor countries, who are the first victims of fiscal evasion and the uh, existence of tax havens in particular, um, are left uh, without any say in this global governance mechanism.